Now to D.C., here's a live look at the Capitol, where House Republicans will have to nominate another speaker after Steve Scalise dropped out, ending his bid after hardline holdouts refused to back him. And without a speaker, the House can't function. It's been more than a week since members of Congress ousted Kevin McCarthy from the job. ABC's Liz Landers with more on what happens next. In a surprise move, Republican Majority Leader Steve Scalise dropping his bid for Speaker of the House just one day after becoming his party's nominee for the job. I just share with my colleagues that I'm withdrawing my name as a candidate for the Speaker designee. If you look at over the last few weeks, if you look at where our conference is, there's still work to be done. Scalise had beat out House Judiciary Chairman Jim Jordan during his secret ballot election on Wednesday, garnering 113 votes to 99. Then, Jordan throwing his support behind Scalise to lead the chamber. But Republican lawmakers had reservations about Scalise, and he was unable to win over more than a dozen or so holdouts, an insurmountable hill to climb for the necessary 217 votes to be elected speaker. The work of the House has been paralyzed without a leader, a fact that's frustrated many members of the Republican conference. But Florida Congressman Matt Gates doesn't regret his decision to vacate Kevin McCarthy from the speaker's chair. You know, people say it's chaos here just because the special interests don't have a unified way to control everything. I have no regrets. Republicans have to go back to the drawing board to find a consensus candidate who can be elected speaker. Some Republicans still want Chairman Jim Jordan, but other names could emerge in the coming days. In Washington, Liz Landers, ABC News.